my last one for tonight. Cause I gotta go to work in the morning. <sighs> if your breath smell like cow manure. I know you smell it because it's right under your nose. And your teeth look like Cheetos. Your teeth like Cheetos. Yeah. Scrape the butter off of them, put it on toast. It's <laughs> called toothpaste. They make it for a reason. You ain't got no toothpaste. Use some baking, baking soda work for every damn thing. You can clean your pots with it. You can clean your floor, vacuum your floor, your walls, and brush your damn teeth. It's not hard to do. It's called a brush. If I had one to show you, I'll show you. Brush, you put paste on it. I'm going to demonstrate. The paste on it. And you put it in your fucking mouth and brush your teeth. Get your tongue. Your tongue shouldn't have caked up white shit on it from 77. What? <laughs> brush your damn tongue off. I shouldn't smell your breath through a plexiglass wonder. What? It don't make no sense. You, your stank breath just make them birds fly and dry in the damn air. They just falling out of trees and shit because of your breath kicking like Van Damme. It, I mean, I'm serious. They actually send y'all asses over to Iraq and kill them terrorists with your breath. What? What? I'm serious. And Mexican. Quit dressing your child up like she's going to the prom. Got them on little wedding dresses and some damn tennis shoes in Walmart, walling in the middle of the aisle on the floor. Playing soccer and shit in Walmart with the little bounce balls. You know, they're laughing. It ain't funny. That's why your kids don't get kidnapped. You ever notice that? Other Mexicans kidnap Mexican kids but don't nobody else want to kidnap them little bad motherfuckers cause they don't know how to act you little field Mexicans when you get out the field please stop giving me that wet ass motherfucking money smell like dirt rocks and back of worms <laughs> shit ain't natural why you gonna kill your money you know you gonna be sweating put your money leave the money on the bus anybody else on the bus so who gonna steal it Leave the money on the bus. All y'all related anyway. It ain't like you ain't going to benefit from it. You got your grandma there. Your mama's mama, mama. Your daddy. Your daddy's brother. His sister. Three kids. Her daughter's newborn child. And she's still pregnant. His boyfriend's cousin's mama's sister's there. And then you all stay with your boss in the backyard in the barn. Packed in the Geo Metro. <laughs> Ride it on the middle lane down the freeway. Not in a lane, but you're on the dotted line. Because you don't know what lane you want to get in. Then when you decide, you just cut everybody off and exit. <laughs> I'm serious. That's how they do in Johnston County. I haven't seen that much up here in Felver. But the Johnson County little motherfuckers don't give a damn. They will cut you off in the field. That bus will cut right through that damn field and cut your ass off. <laughs> Go right there to the store where you got 18 of them lined up at the payphone. They call Cousin Guala down in Guatemala Bay. Uh, what? What's that shit called? Gu uh, Guatemala. And, um, shit down there. You know what I'm talking about. What? And Africans. You ever had a experience with African? Yeah, so Don't get mad at us because our people got on the boat. You should have told your people to get on the boat. No, they mad because they had to stay over there in that heat. You should have told your ass, the peoples, like my peoples, they got on the boat. They should have got on the boat back in 1840. What in the fuck that came over here? You wouldn't have been left over there playing with flies and bugs <laughs> and wearing down line cloth as clothes and shit what? and you would have been over here in civilization okay, cloth. line cloth <laughs> <laughs> what? That's what? what the fuck is a line cloth them little line cloth
lost the big one. You know, they make the shit out of bears and stuff. Yeah! That's what I say, Lion Claw. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. You're over there, and you know what I'm saying, in that didn't even civilization because you're peeing in a hole and shit, you're washing mud, and you get mad at us because we living a good life over here. You should have told your people to hop on that damn boat. If all of y'all had left, you wouldn't be like that. Then you're fighting each other. What you fighting each other for? Over some rocks. <laughs> you're fighting over whose sand is this. It's sand. The shit could have blew on that area. You don't know. <laughs> when happens. Then you got white folks. White folks, stop telling us to go back to Africa. Guess what? Y'all white asses is over there too. <laughs> Did you not watch the Olympics? How many actual Africans were in the Olympics? None. It won't niggas. They're white. Swimming and shit. White. Skin. White. Track. White. Povo. White. Gymnastic. White. South Africa. White. She ain't black no more. Stop telling me to go back to Africa. I tell you go back to Africa. You got some cousins over there. You know what I'm saying? They get mad at us. Because we civilized. Should have got on the boat. America let them folks sneak in here. If little Elian Gonzalez came on the damn inner tube. If he was smart enough to get over here on the fucking inner tube. Let him stay. The boy's smart. He might be good for this country. Teach them Mexicans how to read and write. I, don't, I mean, let them stay. Make them pay taxes. Why the fuck they ain't got to pay no goddamn taxes on shit? They get a whole check. Ain't nothing take out. State tax, fair tax, social security, uh, t none of that shit. And get paid good as hell. Is I'm mad if a fucking film Mexican could drive an Escalade and I've been working since I was 16 and can't afford not a tire on Escalade. <laughs> How you a film Mexican picking peas and cotton and shit? I've been busting my ass since I was fucking 16 and can't afford no fucking Escalade. But you and half of the company, comfort, com country, <laughs> country of Mexico can fucking ride in the Escalade. And I'm sitting in here in a Pinto Benz. What? You know, same one there, hey. A Pinto Benz. That's them Pinto LXs. Nice. Yeah, nice. They're nice. Good on gas. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with the world. That's why they have all these stores and the Koreans have the hair store. How do a Korean know about black folk hair? Huh? Don't tell me what color I am. I know what color I use in my head. How they huh? How they oh no, you want B. You, <laughs> I ain't no fucking one B. I want red. No, no, no. Color don't look good with your complexion. Let me tell you what you get. <laughs> no, no. Tell, give me the color I fucking ask for. Oh, we don't sell that color. Why the fuck you didn't say that the first motherfucking time? Damn suggestive selling all this damn dress weave shit. You got to spray a whole can of Earl Sheen on it for it to look right. Quit caking all that damn gel in your hair. See them bitches had that dried up gel in your hair and hair like it just break off. Like icicles. Gel is bad. Use some satin lotion. For some jam. It moisturizes your hair. Jam work. It's not gel. That gel you break your hair off shit. Gel. Then you wonder why your damn hair ain't growing. You got all that shit caked in it. It ain't got no room to grow. Your scalp just like, fuck it. <laughs> I don't even know what to do. I don't. And women, if you have facial hair, please shave the shit or something. Ain't no need for you to have a full beard with it edged up around looking I'm like... Bad. For real, with a full edge up around, you got it down. What's this shit? A goatee and shit. Wax it or something. Tweezers. They got tweezers. Wax. They got that shit in the mall with the thread. Shave your legs. I hear, see a hairy ass damn woman with legs looking like Chewbacca. 